bonus with face, pat, and tiz. Uh, Kwame <laughs> Brown and Gilbert Arenas is what I want. Oh, Jesus. Um, these two Negroes, um, I guess for y'all have y'all have done research, correct? Yeah, so, I saw that earlier, man. I try, I try to bear my soul through that whole video, man. It's a lot, it's a lot more than just that, but um, for the context for the people out there, obviously, if you're not a sports fan. Kwame Brown and Gilbert Arenas were basketball players in the NBA. They played together early in their career. Um, Gilbert Arenas was not a number one pick. He was drafted, you know, in the first round, but not he wasn't like a highly touted pick coming out of college in that in the same way. Kwame Brown came straight out of high school, was a number one pick. Um, a lot of people over the years have considered Kwame a bust. Um, I personally, based off of what the real thought around him was, and his end result, I, I think he kind of played up to what he was. He was hurt a lot, though, too. So I, I do take that into consideration. But because people have called him a bust over the years, it, I, I, he's been quiet for all these years because he stopped playing, like, in the 2000s. So it, it's been a minute. But um, anyway, re, Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson, two other former NBA MB, NBA players. They got a podcast. Gilbert Arenas was on there. And while they was on there, uh, Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson was kind of like laughing at Kwame, calling him a bust, um, basically downplaying his career. Um, it was all about basketball. They didn't call him like out his name or nothing, but they did clown his basketball career. Kwame then comes out, starts to beef with them, and is like, you know, y'all some bitch niggas y'all doing the white book, the white man's work. And it's from there, Kwame Brown builds his career. And we all know he pretty much calls out people who he feels are buck dancing or who he feels like are talking about black people in a disparaging way. Cool with me. In all of this though, when the shit first popped off, Gilbert Arenas had no, he didn't say anything bad about Kwame at all. He was like, after the podcast, he was like, hey, man, I, I know this dude. He had knocked niggas out. I'm cool with him. Me and him was teammates. Like, I ain't got nothing bad to say about him. I'm out this shit. Fast forward. And, you know, this is what kind of brings me to the situation today. These two Negroes, uh, Gilbert Arena said some disparaging remarks about uh, Lupita Nyong'o. Kwame Brown said some fucked up shit about Gilbert. Gilbert then went, had another Vlad TV interview drop. All this is from Vlad TV interviews now. Um, and uh-huh. in which he was taught, he was, he, Vlad basically tried to do Vlad tactics and tried to stir up some bullshit and was like, yeah, so Kwame was a bust, right? And Gilbert was basically like, no, nah, actually, you know what I mean? He, he was my teammate. He did this, that, and the third. He, he was good for me. You know, he was put in a situation that was messed up for him, though. And I think that would have more to do with anything. But I think if you go back and look at that draft, he still get drafted number one. Da, 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 da. So basically kind of bigging up Kwame and kind of, you know, making sure that he looked out for him. Kwame takes this and goes the fuck off on Gilbert. And then that brings us to this big argument. Um, they get on this dude's podcast or show or whatever. It was a live stream. And basically, Kwame Brown is drinking a beer and yelling at Gilbert Arenas, calling him all kind of bitch asses and beta males while Gilbert Arenas keeps asking a very sensible question to me. So what did I do to you? Now, having seen all of this stuff, though, for yourself, does Kwame have valid arguments against Gilbert? It depends on what you mean is valid. Valid to him? Yeah, valid to me. I don't really know, man. Like... I don't see Gil as, as verbally said nothing publicly that's negative. Now, as far as Kwame feels, he don't want nobody speaking on his name, period. He's asked people not to bring his name up and not to answer questions on him. But if I'm your friend, I'm going to hold you down. If somebody say something negative about you, I ain't going to be like, well, you need to ask him that. 
if I'm on a Vlad interview and Vlad be like, so Kwame's a bust, right? I'm not going to affect him like, well, you need to ask Kwame that. That's going to lead people to think, oh, yeah, you do think he that. You just don't want to say that. Right. Or, or I'm going to stand up for who I would think is a, a close associate or in that instance, I guess they were friends. I don't know. We're former teammates. So he's going to ride for you. I think Kwame has Kwame has been is in the in a place where he's so used to people talking negative about him anytime his name is brought up, he just has an automatic defense. Like you didn't say my name, okay, what you said my name about, I'm just gonna be mad, period. But regardless of what you say, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have an ill ill effect towards you. That's it. that's what his been he's been molded to. Um as far as what he was saying during the doing the little live stream podcast thing. He really won't make it no valid points as far as what Gilbert said to him. He was bringing up all of was of old shit from when they played together, and and trying to judge Gilbert's character based on his past actions. You can't judge a man in his forties for what he did in his twenties, or stupid shit he did in his twenties. Because if that's so damn, I'd be judged real Boy. fucked up. <laughs> Boy, I'd be real fucked up if you gonna judge me from what I did, especially from twenty five to twenty nine. So I mean, ah, shit. But you don't. You should judge a man on his current actions, the way he's doing, and what he's becoming, not what he was. I mean, people talking about Kwame's basketball skills. They're not talking about you now because you retired. As you kept saying, he was retired. He's retired now. I can do whatever. I'm retired. Yeah, you retired. But just like they talk about Jordan, talk about anybody else stats, or and they talk about Manute Bowl stats, they talk about how he got more what more more blocks than they do points. I think that's what it is about Manute Bowl. But mm-hmm. you don't see him getting mad. That's a true stat, man. If you talk about your stats, <clears throat> you talk about your stats. If someone has an opinion about your career, that's just their personal opinion. You can't don't 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 take it to heart. Everybody got an opinion. You got an opinion. You out here vividly disrespecting grown men, calling them bitch asses and all this. <laughs> I mean, I don't believe, like, in the bigger scale of things, I don't believe Kwame may have valid arguments in a bigger scale. But in his mind, based on what he thinking, the trauma he's been molded to, yeah, it's valid to him. Right. Um, Pat, did you think that Gilbert actually disrespected Kwame in this situation? Or like in, in any of the uh I know Kwame kind of rattled down some things that he felt that Gilbert did to him, like getting him bent, or he said that he felt like Gilbert messed up the situation with some side woman or some woman he was messing with at the time. Um based off of hearing Gilbert explain himself and hearing Kwame's like uh, what he said Gilbert did. Do you feel that Gilbert actually disrespected Kwame in any way? And if- no, not not to me. I don't feel like he did any of that. Really, um, when I because I was like on certain stuff, I was like looking up the actual video that the last thing he said with Vlad or whatever. And to me, he just seemed like he was just trying to say something cordial and move on to the next subject because he know how Kwame is, basically. Now, I I get Kwame mission as far as I don't want to give other people, I don't want other people to use my name to give other people rates or times of views or whatever, like if it, because that's my name or whatever. But at the same time, just like Gilbert was saying, it's a black. It, it's a predominant, a predominantly black sport, pretty much. The, like the the points, the val, like the points that he had. It was kind of like overturned by the simple fact that it's a predominantly black sport. They don't have no choice but to talk about mm-hmm. black people. It was like a like more dominant, multiracial. Uh, players out there, they will be talking about those players, but and I, and to me, I just feel like Kwame had a PTSD moment or something like that, and just wanted. I feel like Kwame is using this to to talk shit or say whatever he always felt to 
the people that was around him at that time mm. or whatever. Oh, Gilbert said something. Oh, this is how I feel about you. Cause you notice every single time he brings something up, it's always some random personal thing that has nothing to do with the actual mm-hmm. question that he kept saying was, um, what did I do at that time? Pretty much. Right. Or whatever. And then when he finally said, uh, it's like when he got to a point where he finally just said, so if I just said you need to speak with Kwame, would that be fine or whatever? Like, it, it just, uh, I just feel like Kwame is just using this time as like, I'm going to vent on all y'all. Like, this is my revenge of the nerds moment, basically. <laughs> I, I definitely can see that um, as a possible motive. Um I got a couple of ways I guess I looked at it. Um, I think that it's two schools of thought that Kwame is attacking, but he's confusing them and making it hard for himself to be heard. And for the conversations that are probably valid conversations to actually be had, like I think he's coming at one side of things from like he's viewing it from a race thing where he sees that like I was in this industry where I feel like these white people kind of manipulated and used my people against my people, including myself in my career. And now I'm frustrated about it and I'm tired of it. So I'm gonna vent out about it. I think that's where we get shit like the speaking out against people like Stephen A. Smith, Charlemagne as well, who hadn't really even came at him really hard, but he just was kind of latching on to anybody that's like he saw as that symbol of that. Um, and then there's a second part of, I think maybe like you talking about, Pat, where like he's vengeful about shit not going right in his career. He has some beefs with niggas from way back then that he just never said nothing about. And now it's like, oh, I'm saucy. Fuck this shit. I'm older. I, I, I'm going to say everything I got to say to y'all niggas now. Um, I think the problem with that is, though, like, like the thing he said, he had an issue with Gilbert about the Lupita Nyong'o uh, comment. I think that's a valid conversation to bring up and have with Gilbert. But when uh-huh. you're then convoluting that with the shit about talking about he got you benched, but then there's no evidence that he got you benched. It literally looks like you played worse in the game. Like he kept showing these. I remember it was one video Kwame was showing all these highlights because it was after uh, Gilbert was like, I didn't get you benched. You played bad in this game and then this happened in the next series. So you, so the coach thought that, you know, you was getting booed at home game. So the coach set you down for that game. And then he get Kwame was sitting there, just kept playing these certain highlights. Right. But then you go back and look at the full game. You realize that those highlights are spliced. It's like four or five plays from the entire game or the entire couple of games. So then it's like, well, damn, now you make yourself look worse. I think if he's stuck to don't bring up anything about basketball, I think he comes across looking a lot better. And I also think that, like, niggas in general got to get out of the habit of thinking that, like, it's one thing if you're, like, just talking funny and you hanging out with your boys and you just loud playing around. But, like, niggas got to stop thinking that because I'm talking louder and I'm cursing you out that I'm winning a debate or I'm making sense. Like, just because you loud and you a bunch of, like, flagrant-ass words don't make you right. It just make you look crazy because – for one, we not in the same room. So, like, nobody knows how that would really go. So, it's like, it doesn't give you any points of, like, oh, he tough when you yelling at a nigga in a box on a screen. And then, two, like, you end up sounding crazy because you get into this rant where you're just rambling. Like, this other dude making you look crazy because they talking logical as fuck. And you're calling them beta, but you're looking like the emotional motherfucker that's yeah, 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 yeah. and you uh-huh. and you said this, and so it make you look crazy. You know what I mean? Like I think I I don't want to keep seeing these niggas look. I don't like seeing like I think it's a lot of conversations that black men need to have with other black men. I like it. I, I like that energy. I'm down with that. But I think it's like it needs to start being had in a way where the conversations actually don't get lost into like the sensationalism of it. Cause now it's a lot of people just talking about the fuckery when like there's some points in there that can be, that is probably some shit that we can address as a community and, and get right. But because y'all acting like child, like children or 
because one dude is on there acting like a child at the moment. Like it make it it make it all go out the window. And I think, yeah, I I'd, I'd like to see Kwame get back to a place where he just like is talking about like the actual social issues that he's kind of been honing in on and shit, as opposed to like getting into the personal stuff so much because he loses his. It, it takes away from his overall mess. I, I um I like that you brought that up about when they're in front of the camera and everything. I I, I love this age of technology because it's been plenty of arguments where I look, I'm sarcastic as fuck. <clears throat> pretty much when I have argument. It's been plenty of arguments I have with just random people. You know, do you have like you no know, arguments with the random street dude that just think they loud? If they loud and just scream a lot of shit, they still sound right or whatever. This this gives me that moment. And then capturing that on video and letting people see that may just calm some shit down. Like, oh, so that's what I look like when I wild out like that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So now, because just think about it. If that was a that if you put that same situation, take away the cameras or whatever, and put that in a random, like you're at the bar, or mm -hmm. if you're in the in the in the locker room, or you know, I'm just any knocked, I'm about to get knocked the fuck out before it even get that far. Or, like as soon as just we, just in the streets. As soon as we get to all the bitch asses and the and the, and the, you were, mm -hmm. you were this and you were that, and my mama ain't naming mm -hmm. up that shit. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I mean, even I'm it's, assuming it's, at that point that yeah, well, you don't really want to talk. So at that point, I ain't gonna even go no further. Like, uh, especially if you all getting aggressive, and, yeah, I'm gonna assume that you uh about to take it there. So I'm gonna try to go ahead and get mine off first, set it to mm -hmm. you. And then if if the person decides to do the peaceful ride or whatever, it's gonna make it's gonna look like the loud dude is the one that won the argument. When if you like, if there was some playback. You can see that no, nah, this dude is stupid. That's <laughs> all. He loud as shit, but loud and wrong. Yeah. And yeah, wrong. 30, a lot of loud. yeah, thirty points that don't got no factual basis to it. So yeah, you got me benched. And, well, well, no, I didn't. And then I called all the teammates and the coach, and they also said that I didn't. Well, 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 you got me, you got me messed up with the girl because you told her. Well, well, here's the text message right here where you can see <laughs> says that I didn't do that. Well, well, you get, I, 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 I can drink a beer if I want to. Nigga, now you look like a whole man. Man. Now, Nigga, don't fight that hard. Yeah, that, was, that was the worst as a person uh -huh. who formerly drank and drank heavily. That was the worst shit ever to make you not look like that. Like, that was don't the be worst. used to fight folk like, tactics. So. Don't, don't fight him about the beer, man. Like it's bigger shit, it's bigger fist to fry in this conversation. Like that, don't let that be the part where you, well, I'm gonna drink my beer if I want you. You can tell me. Like, come on, bro. Come on, man. Hey, you said always got clowned by the dude that's hosting because he, I, he he's making the joke out of it pretty much. Like you got it. at some point, man, people gotta start like. I like the debate. I like us being able to have discourses where we don't agree. That's okay. That's how people learn. That's how you push your thinking mm -hmm. forward. That's how you go back and do more research. And either you edify the, the thoughts you already had, or you revise those thoughts based on new information. But if you just keep arguing, don't nobody learn nothing but how to yell louder. And how to get a better microphone than somebody else so their voice project loud, or how to figure out a new way to curse so it sounds cooler to the audience. Like, and then everybody walk away dumber. Like, I, I, I think that's my frustration with that whole thing. Like, it's two dudes that like, like, if Kwame had a real conversation with Gilbert, I think they would actually get somewhere, and Gilbert might even concede to some of Kwame's points. If they had a, a actual just conversation and not like uh I'm coming in trying to like punk you and sun you and shit. Cause like the shit don't translate on video, y'all. Like if you're gonna try to punk somebody, pull up on them in person and do all that. <laughs> like if you're gonna do that cornball shit, do that. But don't that through the box shit, it looks stupid. You look like you on fucking Hollywood squares. 
Like, you know how look, dumb that would look if, like, Pat was right now, like, oh, I'm about to sun tears. Through the screen? <laughs> Nigga, we are out of the way. Like, ain't <laughs> one of us about to teleport. We ain't night crawler. So, like, what really yeah, are we going to do other than her? Uh, I'm going to say some words to you. I'm going to say those words. You bet you feel it over there 2,000 miles away. <laughs> like one nigga's in Cali, one nigga's in Georgia, South Carolina, somewhere. Like, what? <laughs> no, like, it didn't work. If it's on that That's level right. where you got to call a nigga a bitch ass nigga and all that, at that point, get the fuck off the internet, get on the phone, get on your tablet, get on your computer, book your flight. <laughs> Send a private text to that person. Drop the pen. I'm on the way. And go. But that, I hate this. This shit is so stupid in 2022 watching dudes argue in these little boxes, man. That shit. Mm-hmm. Like. <laughs> look, look. It's and I'm a, cool it's with like internet. passion conversation. Like, you know, I'm down with that. Like, I, I think that that's okay. But this, I'm a, yeah, you bitch ass nigga. And you's a. Sir. Look. Sorry. Internet, in media box. history. Um, what I'm trying to say, the the internet has a media history that continuously shows that anytime a man gets loud, he ends up looking stupid. Period. Anytime, like, like with any opinion, if if you don't have, like, if you have those moments where somebody just with any opinion, with you, that's just not get that, emotional. That, that. Cause I've heard some, I've heard some people get loud. Like I've heard like two professors have like a loud intellectual debate on like the history of Samaria and shit. And they loud as hell, but they dropping facts with their shit. So that the shit that they feel is backed by some type of research. You sound dumb, yeah. loud as hell, and you're not making any point. You just cursing. Like at that point, like so what? So what are you so? When are you gonna pull up or say something else? Like, cause at this point, like, what, what are we? Where are we going? We can't go nowhere. It is. There's literally at that point the conversation's over. We either gonna fight or we gonna get the hell offline. Cause now we just sitting here and I'm just listening to you out curse words. I can go, you know, pull up fucking uh, Yosemite Sam or Donald Duck or somebody and watch that shit. Want to see a nigga just think- to curse for no reason? Fuck. He lost the argument as soon as he starts saying beta and stuff like that. I think anytime a male, anytime a male use beta and alpha in an argument, they end up looking beta in the in the process. I'm so sick oh, of the term, yo. I'm so sick of the term. Beta. I'm so sick of the term. I don't want to hear beta nothing unless it's about them damn fish. Them fighting fish. <laughs> Oh, it better be like a test. It better be a technology or something. I don't want to hear nothing about the males and stuff like that. Y'all just y'all care too much about how a, a man acts and not enough about how you acting. My thing is, like, let's get this shit. First of all, let me just go ahead. I, I guess this is the perfect time to just go ahead into the next. <laughs> <laughs>